Customer experience really is the new marketing. It influences brand perceptions just as strongly and produces business results just as significantly. But you don't just want to work on customer experience alone because employees are really what make that customer experience possible. And you can't expect your employees to deliver something to customers that they don't experience themselves. And when I say ex um, employee experience, I just want to level set and make sure that we're all on the same page. I'm talking about the sum of everything an employee feels and takes away and experiences throughout his or her interaction with your organization. From the first point when they become a prospective employee all the way to the end of their employment. And just as customer experience really kind of rose in importance over the last few years, employee experience is really rising in importance today. But you don't want to just do employee experience without customer experience because you don't just want happy, satisfied employees. You want happy, satisfied employees that produce great experiences, right? So you really do need to integrate and align these. You need to fuse your customer experience and your employee experience together. What does that look like? Let me give you three examples. So use your data and systems to uncover disconnects between the core values of your organization and the way your organization operates so that you have a vital and healthy corporate culture and em employees get great experiences. So you want to examine the employee experience the same way you'd examine a customer experience. You know, the, a lot, there's a lot of activity going on in customer journey mapping. Do the same thing for employees. Map their journey from, from recruiting to onboarding to training to comp and benefits to performance planning to promotion to ongoing communication and engagement. And identify those touch points or those interactions or their stages where, there's, where your core values say your company believes one thing, but your operations really reinforce something else. And it can be as simple as like, you know, I bet many of you have um, some element of, of teamwork or collaboration in the core values of your organization. But if you are rewarding people only based on their individual performance, then what message are you really sending to your people? So whatever you wrote down or whatever you're thinking about, I would encourage you to continue kind of marinating on those ideas because really what you have done is you've taken your first step in fulfilling that complete success formula. But moreover, you have also taken your first step to being a real leader in the field. When you fuse together customer experience, employee experience, and operational excellence, you as a business leader and your organization as a business will be at the forefront of where everyone else is trying to go.